What's the deal, YouTube? People will not change in front of you. I just remember this from being younger, arguing with my brother about certain things. He would propose certain perspectives to me that I would disagree with in front of him. Then I would gain the perspective, and if my peers were to argue with me, I would use his perspective against them to destroy the argument because I kind of saw the whole spectrum now. I saw where he was coming from, so I kind of just had extra ammunition for the person that was my peer. You know, being that my brother was seven years older than me, it just, you know, it just, it just made it a lot easier to, to, to maneuver through arguments because of what I would get from him. Uh, the same thing goes for someone that eats flesh or eats, eats anybody. So a lot of people eat less sick. They don't eat healthy. They just eat less sick. So you're dealing with someone who really truly believes that they eat healthy. They're just eating less sick than you. Um, or less sick than the next person, I mean. So, um, you tell them about eating dead animals or eating things, certain things, and you explain to them why these things are bad or not the most complimentary things and how they uh, influence your, your mind and your actions. And you're waking something up inside of them. You're reminding them of something that they already know. So... For, the, for them to totally transform in front of you, you know, they want to do it on their own time in their own space. So they usually, they keep from doing it in front of you. You know, they'll say anything, you know, they'll be like, oh, it's more convenient to do this or do that. And I feel like with convenience, it's kind of crazy because when it, when it comes to convenience, eating dead animals is less convenient. You go... Raw is the most convenient, honestly. It's the quickest to prepare, the quickest to clean up, uh, especially if you if you if you have uh, liquid meals in your day. But um, if you eat dead animals or fast food, these things it takes forever to cook and clean up. Uh, the doctor's bills that you're going to have in due time will cost more than the grocery bills. So it's not cost effective, nor is it convenient. It's inconvenience. People feel like they're being, they're, I don't know, like what they're doing is more convenient. And that they, that's a lot of the rationale for a lot of the people. Once, once they understand that what they're doing is not the best lifestyle, they always just rely on convenience and addiction and, and rationalizing those things that are totally irrational. You get the most ra people that feel like rationale is the way to go, right? And they become the most irrational people. It's really, it's amazing. Like, being completely rational is really irrational at some level. Like, you know, it's wild. But people just will never change in front of you. They want to do it on their own time, in their own space. Like, I see I influence someone, and then they'll... They'll keep it from me, and then I'll run into somebody else that knows them, and they'll be like, yo, my man, my man or she's doing this now. And I'm like, see, ah, look, didn't want to do it to me, didn't want to give me any satisfaction, which is kind of crazy, because it's not that, it's not like I care that much in that in that sense. It's more so like, if I change you, I help us, all of us, so, and there's no way I can change you. I can only just present present this to you, this info knowledge to you, and then you make the choice. So I've seen plenty of people change in front of me, but most people just will not change in front of you. They 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 just really don't. They, it's like what what people would call an egotistical thing or a false self thing, you know. They just they're not they you have to relearn yourself. It's like when you when you switch your diet or remove substances from your diet, you have to relearn yourself cuz you've you say yourself is has been muffled under the, the the starch and flesh, the weed or the alcohol, whatever. You rip the layer off that's muffling it. So the more you do this, the more th yourself you are, and you know you're more like a child. The way you were when you were a child, as far as you're thinking and the way you analyze certain things. So you have to relearn yourself. 
and people fear that you know they've they've now they've learned this false self in the way they've they've been, whether it's been maneuvering about high or drinking every weekend, eating garbage, and then you know in the cycles that they're in, they've learned that that's the learned behavior that they've that they've become comfortable with. So to stop that and relearn their self is just frightening for them. So they don't want to do go through that whole process in front of you. So and I understand it. You know, I went through it. You know, you get to a point where on the substance is sober or being in the crowd is, you know, everybody, uh, everybody's in the crowd to, you know, for less guilt to swallow. You know, just because, you know, it, it's, you know, you're running in a pack. So people, they, they refuse to do it in front of you. And it's kind of crazy because it, it's, just get over it and get over your false self.